Hello guys, hi YouTube, hi all my ex-Jehovah's Witness friends. Um, been watching some great videos recently. Watched Spoon Fed No More's video, where she was talking about her uh, feelings after going to work. Uh, watched Mike and Kim's videos, Parker's doing some really funny things. That's Faithful Slave, if you don't know. Uh, great guy. You know, don't subscribe to him, obviously, because then he'd have more than me. And we've got a little battle going on. <laughs> I wanted to talk to some, uh, about something that uh, really upset me. Uh, since returning from work. Um, it's, hard, it's a real difficult subject, especially for a guy to talk about. But I would say this, uh, I'm just going to be honest about it. Since returning from work, I have received probably on average two to three messages every day uh, from women who are the victims of sexual abuse whilst being Jehovah's Witnesses uh, and having left. Uh, I've had so many of them. I spoke to with this lady and it broke my heart. Uh, I like her very much. She's a, such a sweet girl. And uh, I, I've asked her if she would mind. I'm not going to obviously name her. But I've asked her if I could just read out the pertinent parts of the message she sent to me. Uh, because I wanted to talk about it. Um, when I was in work, I was at a Dunkin' Donuts. And uh, I believe it was Joel, or it might have been Rick Fearon, was talking to the... I think it was Joel was talking to the girls at the counter about why we were here with all our posters. And one of the girls was a bit standoffish. And she said to me, uh, I know lots of Jehovah's Witnesses, they're good people. And I tried to sort of get to her, but she wasn't, she wasn't having anything, she wasn't having it. Uh, to explain to her, you know, with the child abuse, she said that's in all religions. And then I, I think I did eventually get her. And what I said is that the problem isn't that it's all in, in all religions. The problem is that you know, being a Jehovah's Witness doesn't, you aren't a bad person, but it makes you one, makes you do bad things. So, for example, I said to her, if your um, daughter was sexually abused, you'd either shoot the guy or go to the police. She said, damn right. <laughs> Great. I said, if you're Jehovah's Witness, Mother, your first reaction is to say, we don't want to bring any reproach on Jehovah's name. Now, if you're a Jehovah's Witness, or an ex-Jehovah's Witness, you know that old phrase. It's been used so many times to hide so many crimes. Don't bring reproach upon Jehovah's name. And yet again... This shines through in this uh, message that I'm going to tell you. So this video and the next one I do are going to be quite sad. So I do apologise. But uh, as well as trying to make people laugh, I also try to explain to people who aren't Jehovah's Witnesses why it's a dangerous cult. So here we go. Uh, lady had a question for me. She said, uh, Did you know that the Watchtower also protects worldly people who have sexually assaulted Jehovah's Witnesses to preserve their image? Uh, I said, Okay, I said, I don't know much about their behaviour towards worldly victims, other than that the Royal Australian Commission reported. Uh, my, only knowledge, my own knowledge of Jehovah's Witnesses is enough to convince me that they will cover over anything to hide uh, bad news or slow down donations. Uh, she wrote back, no, not worldly victims. I was the victim of three different sexual predators and wasn't allowed to prosecute them. So I wrote, that's so terrible. I'm sorry. Is there statute of limitation in your country? She says, I honestly do not know. It's why I'm actually asking. The first two predators weren't reported when I was just a child, but they were both known about by my mother. The last predator was the handyman, and my mother was there twice when it happened, but it was an ongoing him thing with him because he had access to our apartment. And when my husband reported it to an elder, I was asked if I'd made it all up, and I was crying and said, of course not, and my mother had been there. The elder told my husband, that we didn't want to ruin a man's life over it and bring reproach upon Jehovah's name by making a scandal of it because it would be in the paper or the media. That's what my question was actually about. So I wrote this and if you send me a message, please understand that I am not a professional uh, and that these messages break my heart, but I will still answer them every day, every time. And I'm not so crass that I would have a cookie cutter answer, but what I usually say is something similar. And I wrote, I'm so sorry, I wish I could offer you more help. Uh, if you would allow me, I would suggest that you go to the police and women's aid immediately. This is extremely serious and there are professionals who may help you. All I can do is make people smile. Um, but this is the, the thing that parents know, elders know, and they hide it and they cover it up and abuse happens and we mustn't bring, bring reproach on Jehovah's name. And I must have heard that a dozen times in my life. And uh, it was about silly things, you know, thefts, bad cars being sold to family members. How much more so when it's child abuse? Uh, it's disgusting, but it is what it is. 
Guys, thanks very much for watching The Great Apostate. I do occasionally have to make serious videos, and uh, this is one of the most serious. Guys, thanks very much. Bye-bye.